Alexa, cinema on. Okay. I'm gonna tour you guys. It has arrived. I ordered this last July or August. Took three months to produce from the States. JTR speakers. And it took two months via Ocean Freight to get here. It's an upgrade for my home theater. Endgame speakers. There it is. Gosh, they're ginormous. JTR speakers. And subs. JTR speakers, Jeff Parmanian. He owns this, he handles everything, he hand builds them, and he ships them out himself. And also I heard about JTR through Youth Man. He's a home theater enthusiast. He's also based, he has a he has a YouTube channel, Youth Man. Thank you so much, Michael. Babe! Come here. I want to show you my Pakula. Why? <laughs> That's the Are you opening your own cinema? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be charging, guys. Nice. Look, look. Look at that one. That's the, that's the last figure. How much did you spend for that? Babe, remember. It's an upgrade. I'm selling everything. Remember, if if there's anything upstairs that will break because that's too loud, you're going to buy me Wait, can you take a picture of Okay. We were able to move uh, some of the, the front stage clip speakers and the PV16 Ultra and SVS compared to the Klipsch RF73s, which is the, the flagship for the home theater for Klipsch. Those are 10 inch woofers. This is Dual 15s. The JTR Noises 215RT. Tapos kasi kailangan tulong dito. Okay. <laughs> so, na empty na namin yung sound stage. This left speaker is about close to 300 pounds. Okay. 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 I have two units of this. This is the JTR 4000 ULF ST. Um, supposed to be 4000 watts, but since iba yung wattage natin dito sa Philippines yung voltage natin, upgraded siya to 6000 watts. So lilipat na yung bahay. <laughs> Okay, I had to change outfit. I'm so I was so sweaty. The front stage is almost complete minus the front heights. Ito na siya. You ready? It's full. Look at that. Oh my god. So this stand was built for the uh the clips, the smaller ones. So I need to cut it so that it will even out. Like that. <gasps> Kaboom! Oh my god, I'm like a I'm like a child in a candy store. Scarlet, show just for reference. Scarlet, stay beside the subwoofer. See how small Scarlet is. There. Uh, <laughs> so, how do you find everything? It's nice, but Papa, why do you like speakers so much? Yes, uh, well, it's a hobby of mine. Ever since I was a kid, 
Um, I always dreamed of having a home theater as early as when I was 12 or 13. I remember watching in the, in the cinemas in the malls and saying I want to have something like this in my house. And what I would do is I would have an old stereo system and there would be a couple of speakers lying around in the house and I would try and hook, hook up um, it to in front of my bed, left and right speaker, pero kahit na sobrang old na ng mga receiver dating ginagamit namin, it still made me so happy. Imagine when I added pa yung surrounds. Di parang, whoa, parang you can hear the helicopter on top, you can hear it raining. So ever since before, I've always researched, I've read about speakers, I've read about projectors, I've read about screens, and, and especially speakers. And uh, it's my hobby. Di ba? Even our car is set up, we have nice speakers in the, in the cars, in the bedroom. Di ba? I like, to, I like to listen to vinyl players as an audiophile. And I'm sure a lot of dads out there, a lot of singles out there, love to listen to music and watch theater. Especially, di ba, Luvi? Now, nowadays, you can't even go in the theater anymore. Di ba? Because it's closed. So, you can watch here. Yeah. Free cinema. So? It's huge. <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> Don't press the, the woofers. So, big. so, who wants to stay in front? Me! <laughs> okay, you're, you're, you're gonna be blasted to the back. So, we are about 90% done with the uh, changing of speakers of uh, my current uh, theater to JTR. Right now, I have Mac over there. Um, he's gonna help set up all the D Sonic. Uh, amplifiers, I got those from the US as well. Uh, a three channel D Sonic 1500 watts, and I got two other amps, power amps that are I think 400 watts for seven channels. That's two of those, so I can accommodate all of the all of the speakers. This is the JTR center speaker stand. It's modified. It used to be for the clips. But the big uh, JTR speaker now, it's overlapping the bottom of my screen, so we had to lower this down. Okay, so obviously my remote's infrared are rendered useless over here because all my equipment is at the back. So how I'm able to control them is I go to my home automation and then I'll go to here to my app. It's a Crestron app, it's for our house. The whole house is automated, so not just the theater. And I can click the amplifier. I can click the projector. We are going to, let me go press okay. Hold on. So, starting with the professional calibration. Hired uh, Wayne Pomposa here in the Philippines. He's one of the few guys that knows how to use uh, DSP, REW. Is that the initial way? Yes, sir, yeah, yeah. You have to flatten it, no? Yes, yes. Wow, that's so high. So, movie scene is set. I'm sorry uh, for the violence. We're gonna call the IS to get their reactions. Paso! Bilis, poy, poy. Go, puesto, puesto. Konti lang. Go, hindi, hindi, hindi. Okay, ready? Ito, Alisa, yan, yan, yan. Oh, masakit ba? Hindi. Oh, honey, reactions. Reactions, please. Amazing. Amazing. What's that? What's that? What's this? Yeah. See? My intestine is all... It's all mushy now. 
<laughs> Transformers. Yes. Okay, game we're gonna watch. How do you like it? The wifey, the wifey comment. So what? Fine, it's nice. Yeah! Ooh! She said it's nice! So we are finally done with everything in our theater. Calibration, placement of speakers. Uh, I would like to give a heads up and a shout out to Wayne Pomposa and Clint from Home Theater Society of the Philippines. They did such an awesome job uh, maximizing my speakers and my space. A lot of you have actually wanted to see where is my electrical stuff because in my theater it's just speakers and a screen. I understand some of you would like to hide speakers but for me I like all my speakers exposed. So the control room is what I, is, is what I call it so it's here. So I wanted to organize all of my movies and all of my equipment here. So as you can see this is my rack and you have my Denon 8500 which is the processor. I have uh, three units of D-Sonic. Uh, I have a three channel here uh, from D-Sonic. It's 1,500 watts each to control my left center and right speakers. And then I have two units of the, I think it's a 2800 model. It's 400 watts of seven channel each. So these power all of my surrounds and my Atmos, okay? And then obviously, here in, the Philipp here in the Philippines, we have a lot of fluctuations in power. So I made sure to invest in also AVRs and uh, a lot of AVRs. Because um, all of the speakers are from the United States. So if there's any repairs, it's going to be so hard to repair them. So I wanted to make sure to protect all my subwoofer, my projector, all of my equipment with... Um, these are... Uh, AVRs, 5 kVA. These power the two front subwoofers, and then I have uh, another AVR there which controls my projector and the Denon, and another AVR MR Flex to control the others. So in other words, why do you guys need to protect your equipment? Kung nakadirekta kayo sa outlet, and there's gonna be a power surge or a brownout, then you have a genset and the influx of power then your equipment will get the full brunt of all of the fluctuations, which is going to be bad. So you need to protect it, invest in AVRs. Anyway, so we have all the movies here. I have This is my 4K collection here, 4K movies. I don't buy pirated movies. Um, I have an 190-inch 2.35 screen, so I want to make sure that it's not going to be pixelated or downloaded. I stream. But more often than not, I buy movies. So everything here, this is my little control room. Let's go to the cinema, okay? So when I turn on everything there, all I just say is, uh, I will command my home automation to, to say, Alexa, cinema on. Okay. So it's gonna shut off the certain light. It's gonna turn on the AC. It's gonna turn on the projector. So I'll just turn on the rear light here because everything's on automatic, see? So it's turning on right there. I'm gonna tour you guys. The placement of speakers looks very different now. The guys at Home Theater Society, they told me that more than calibration, design and placement is more important because if your speaker placements are wrong, there will probably be no separation of sound, which means if you're decoding a Dolby Atmos signal or DTSX and your speakers are all close to each other, you'll probably not hear uh, nuances. It's gonna sound flat. So, here it is. A full JTR speaker system. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine speakers in front for the mids. 9.6 Atmos and 4 subwoofers. So, uh, the original design, I had six, 6 seats at the back, but I changed it up. I removed one seat to accommodate these JTR 3200 Captivators Dual. And as you can see, my surrounds have been lowered. I used to have it over here and over here. So, with direction from our calibrators, they said, I needed to lower it almost to ear level. So when you sit down here, when they were doing the calibrations, this is where I sit. As you can see, I have two speakers on the side, uh, behind me and up top. 
so it really envelopes me into a beautiful sound and JTR really it delivers if I want to crank it up it can crank it up all the way to reference level with no problem and uh, out of the box JTR speakers are amazing they're really powerful especially their subwoofers but I would say to maximize your speakers you need to get a mini DSP and that's what our calibrators did our techs um, it's very tricky to have four subs if you get a mini DSP it'll be one signal and your frequency in your room will be uh, pretty much flat and that means that there will be no delay and when you feel the bass it's just tactile it's it's full it won't give you a headache it's powerful but precise and all of the speakers here um, even the 110 HD uh, SL the surrounds they're just so powerful even though it's so small look at this I mean it's big for surrounds but it's really heavy so th that is why I love our theater so much it's just I feel like I'm a child when I, I I'm such a home theater enthusiast I love speakers so why huge speakers I mean uh, I, what, I just wanted the headroom. In other words, if I want to go reference level, if I wanted to go really loud and, and, and nice, I can. the speakers can handle it with no problem. But if I want to listen to it to Wi-Fi levels just right, then it's going to be okay also. It's so funny because when we watch the movie, even with the kids at uh, 73 decibels on my Denon processor, they just like the sound. It's so enveloping. Uh, the nuances, the separation, the sound of the bass is just perfect. So the calibration was very top notch. So I go highly recommended on the guys uh, Wayne and Clint. So that's it guys. This is our home theater. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our little tour of removing our old ones and putting in the heavy ones. That's it. Thank you for watching.